Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. Have you ever had a need to change a list of uh, names? If there were last name, first name, to first name, last name, or if you received a list that had first name, last name, to last name, first name. So this is what I'm talking about, watch. So I, I created a Word document uh, with names. Okay, first, on the first one, I did them all um, first name, last name, and then I turned around and changed them from last name to first name. So we'll start with uh, changing it from, uh, uh, let's change it from last name, first name, to first name, last name. Okay, so let me show you. So I'm going to copy and paste this. I have an Excel file that I have created with formulas and uh, at the bottom of this video you will see the link to it. So right now, now at the bottom of this Excel document I have two sheets. One, if you see, if you notice on the bottom left hand corner it says change from last to first and then on the other sheet I got change from first to last. So, uh, the, the first one I'm doing is last, last name, first name. So, I'm going to convert it, right? So, from last to first. Now, if you click on my first cell here, the one that says Mendoza Hector, right? And you hit Control V, because remember, you pasted this on your clipboard. Or you can type it, it doesn't matter. You hit Control V it will automatically convert it okay so depends on how you type it in is going to come in in that format right uh what, what i'm talking about is so let's go back to that file let's say that right now it's all caps and i wanted these things to be um uppercase and lowercase you know, of course, in Excel, you can go ahead and, and, and change that, right? So, um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going to change, uh, capitalize each word. Okay. So I'm going to hit Control C again. Go back to Excel. Hit Control V. And now you see it in that format. So... Whenever you're going to bring it in here, just make sure you know uh, what size, excuse me, if it's uh, caps or caps and lowercase. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to change from first to last. So in my Excel file, excuse me, my Word document, I have another page that has first name, last name. So I'm going to copy that. Go to my Excel file. I'm going to click here and hit Control V. And now, you see right here, it did the first one, right? Now, if I click on this first last name, first name, and you see this little uh, right, right dot on the right hand side, if you left click, hold your mouse. You can drag it down and it will convert the rest of them. Now, I'll go in and change the size of this text to show you what, when you put it in here, it's going to change it to whatever size you have. If I would have had it in uh, red, it would have changed it in red. Okay, so uh, now let me show you another trick. So I'm going to create a new. Excel document okay there's a formula that you can use but um, and you don't even have to open up that document so let me show you what what formula I'm talking about it's a really easy formula to use but let's go to the Excel file and the first one I'm gonna hit control C go back to that file I just created I'm gonna hit control D Okay, didn't copy it here, control C, alt, control V. Okay, now, 
here and watch these are all caps and lowercase uh, all caps right watch what i'm gonna, i'm going to do on this on the right hand side of the first one i'm going to type evans if you notice i capitalized the first one and and all the other characters are lowercase now i'm going to type uh chris Okay, now, while, while I have this cell selected, if I hit Control Enter, Control E, watch what it does. It created that same formula that I created here, or that uh, how I typed it, it followed the same suit. Now, the only time you're gonna have problems, for instance, if you have Robert Downey Jr. because it's looking for a comma, it's gonna kind of mess up a little bit. So on something on something like that, you will have to go in and just type. Uh, uh, actually, it would be Robert. You would have to type that because having that surname kind of throws it off a little bit, but you wouldn't have a lot of those, so uh, it really, really helps a lot. And now, what we're going to do this time is we're going to change it from last name, first name to, and that first name is misspelled, but you know what? I can't believe it took the command because it. Uh, uh, okay, so I C H. Okay, so this time I'm going to copy this list. Okay, I'm going to paste it here. So now I have last name, first name. I'm going to convert it to first name last name so if i type chris and his last name well i have it selected i'm gonna hit control enter and control e see what it did it converted it so that's the only thing that i wanted to show y'all on this uh, like i said i'm going to provide you this excel document here that already has formulas if you if you notice when i click here it has uh, a formula i click here if i click here it's going to have a formula anyway that's all i wanted to show you if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber uh Subscribe to my channel and you'll see a bunch of different tricks I use in Word, Excel. Um, later on, I'll, I'll teach a little bit about Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator. But right now, my main things that I teach is actually uh, Xactimate and Simbility. Again, thank you for watching my videos and I hope you enjoyed this video.